Yo, Michael Burnett, AF7KB with Calculating Reactances. There is not a single question on the X-ray exam that asks something like, what is the reactance of a 72 microfarad capacitor at 3.5 megahertz? Don't be brokenhearted, though, because there are a couple of questions where you'll need to calculate reactances as you travel along the path to the final answer so you need these formulas tucked away in your memory. Capacitors and inductors both oppose changes in alternating currents or voltages, and this opposition varies with the value of the component and with frequency. We call this opposition reactance, and in formulas it gets the letter X. It is measured in ohms. For inductors, as the frequency gets higher, the reactance gets higher. At the lowest frequency, DC, the inductor looks essentially like a straight wire. For capacitors, as the frequency gets higher, the reactance gets lower. At DC, the capacitor looks just like an insulator. Since these components behave in opposite ways relative to frequency, we need a formula for inductive reactance and another for capacitive reactance. Let's start with inductive reactance. It's known in formulas as X subscript L, or just XL. And the formula is XL equals 2 pi FL. Inductive reactance equals 2 times pi times the frequency in hertz, times the inductance in henrys. And notice, if the frequency or the inductance increases, the reactance increases. Now, if you're curious about the 2 pi that keeps showing up in our formulas, that relates to radians. Radian is a trigonometry term, and radians are an angular measurement used in place of degrees in a lot of scientific work to really vastly simplify formulas like this one. There are, of course, 360 degrees in a circle, and there are 2 pi radians in a circle. One cycle of a sine wave rotates through 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians. Now, we know capacitors work in a way that's the opposite of inductors. Mathematicians would say they work in a way that's the reciprocal of inductors. And so the formula for capacitive reactance is the reciprocal of the formula for inductive reactants. Reciprocal just means divide that whole mess into one. And so the formula is Xc capacitive reactance equals 1 over 2 pi Fc. Capacitive reactance equals 2 times pi times the frequency times the capacitance in farads, all divided into 1. Now, notice in the formula, as the frequency or capacitance increases, the reactance decreases. Bigger numbers on the bottom make the fraction smaller, right? Three quarters is greater than three eighths. Keeping that in mind seems to help me keep lots of these formulas straight in my head. Of course, that requires understanding the physics behind the formula, such as inductors pass low frequencies and block high frequencies. Once you're clear on that, though, then it makes sense that XL would increase as either the frequency or the inductance increase. Now, what's useful in these, and really any other formula, is to get all the elements into standard units, such as farads, hertz, henrys, and ohms. So let's do one. Let's calculate the reactance of an 82 millihenry coil at 2.65 megahertz. The formula for inductive reactance is XL equals 2 pi FL. So we'll plug in our values. XL equals 2 pi times 2.65 times 10 to the 6th. That's the frequency. That's 2,650,000 hertz or 2.65 megahertz times 82 times 10 to the negative 3 
Henry's. That's the millihenry's. So 2 pi times 2.65 times 10 to the 6th times 82 times 10 to the negative 3rd. That's going to give us XL. We'll plug it into the calculator. Here we go. 2 pi times parentheses 2.65 and then the times 10 to the nth key and a 6. Jog it over 1 and parentheses times other parentheses 82 and that times 10 to the nth key, a negative key, not the subtract key, the negative key, a 3, jog it over 1, put a parenthesis, and hit enter. You should be looking at 1,365,336 or so. Excellent. That's ohms because we used Hertz and Henry's in our calculations, so we'll call it 1.4 megohms. Let's figure the reactance for a 10 millifarad capacitor at 2.65 megahertz. The formula is Xc, this is capacitive reactance, equals 1 over 2 pi Fc. Let's plug in the values. 1 over 2 pi times 2.65 times 10 to the 6th. That's the hertz, close the parent, times 10, times 10 to the negative third. That's the farads. Okay, looks good. Let's plug it into the calculator. We'll do the numerator over denominator key and a 1, and then toggle that cursor down with the cursor movement key, parenthesis, 2.65 times 10 to the nth, 6, jog it over 1, close the parentheses, times parentheses, 1, 0, times 10 to the nth, use the negative key, and a 3, jog it over 1, close that parenthesis, and hit enter. We come up with either 0 0.00006006 or 6 times 10 to the negative 6th ohms of reactants. Think about that. For this 10 millifarad capacitor, there's only 6 micro-ohms of reactants at that frequency. For all practical purposes, it is a straight wire. Now you know why we have picofarad capacitors. Ok, subscribe to the channel because this video collection is continuing to grow. If you have an idle moment, go like our Facebook page, because apparently that is very important. Visit the FastTrackHam.com website and thanks for watching. 7-3.